Good morning, investors and traders. This is Naim Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Have a Trade, and today's analysis is very much based on two different asset classes which are very much exploding their moves to the upside. Of course, I am talking about Bitcoin and gold, and the, both of them are moving higher on the back of the Federal Reserve decision. Bit of a disclaimer and housekeeping, anything which should be discussed cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now, as always, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform and we will begin the conversation. Shall we say that we will start with gold? Yes, let's do. Let's start with the conversation with gold. Now, if you have seen our previous videos in that we very much discuss all of this consolidation from here to here, the price going into this area and then us talking about the price forming the possibilities of double top, but how that double top may not be that much of a valid because price has spent too much time in this area because we were talking about all of this, uh, uh, this consolidation area over here. And exactly that is what happened yesterday, because as of yesterday, when the Federal Reserve came up with its decision, we saw this explosive moves to the upside when gold prices, uh, you know, really jumped just below that 50, 100 is simple moving average. By the way, this is your 100 as always. This is your 50 and this is your 200. And now the journey has really started towards its next important moving average, which is right over here. And that is your 200 day simple moving average on the four hour time frame. Of course, we are still a bit away from uh, achieving that, uh, you know, the, 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 our resistance zone because our resistance zone is still quite far. It is still between 1801 to 1827. And if you like, I can slightly narrow that resistance zone so we can just consider this particular area right over there. The consolidation area in, in here could be considered very much as a resistance zone right over here, as you can see on the chart. But overall, what we are seeing now is some sort of an evidence coming into the market, which is telling us that, OK, you know, the prices, they have started their journey. And now we can draw our trend line by joining the lows, the lows of this one and the low of that one. So we can draw that. Of course, I can make it a little bit more accurate by just bringing all the lows right over here. And as long as the price stays above them, we are still OK for the prices to continue their journey to the upside. But the most important thing, as always, is the 100 day simple moving average. And then after that, is the crossover of the 50 day simple moving average above the 100 day simple moving average, which will further confirm that yes, this bull momentum is really going to shape up and the prices without any issue will take this particular resistance zone and price will continue its journey to the upside. So we will continue to monitor this particular move as it goes, but we also need to have a look at Bitcoin price because obviously we saw this massive moves in Bitcoin prices as well yesterday and now is the time for us to discuss them. Now, first of all, what I kind of wanted to make, uh, bring your attention to is that what we really need is the, the RSI, which is your relative strength index, has been trading below this downward trend line. We really want the RSI, the momentum to be really that strong that we wanted to see this momentum line, this to be broken up and then the, and the RSI breaking to the upside. So that's the first thing that we, we really wanted to see in relation to Bitcoin so that we can have a confirmation that yes, the momentum is coming back. The second thing that if you have seen our previous videos again, that we have been talking about the how the price is really struggling right around this particular price level so the trying to break above the 50 day simple moving average and then we also talked about the fact that the price really sort of needs to stay above the 100 day simple moving average which we have now because the price is uh you know the, the, the price has stayed above that particular price level and also Something else that we've also discussed in our previous videos, in, in our recent videos, was this support zone, which was right over here. So let me draw that support zone once again. So we talked about this particular support zone in our recent video, 
and the price has actually jumped from this particular support zone which we've mentioned in our previous video because what we did was we encompassed uh, very much where the 100 day simple moving average was trading in and then we were looking at that look this is the area where the prices were really uh, prices are really likely to move to the upside and then the next one was very much right below that where the 200 day simple moving average is trading now the focus remains at the all-time high which is you know your 62,000 price level more or less pretty much so and if the price continues to stay above this 50 day simple moving average then i have no doubt that we are going to take out this particular resistance zone again i'm looking everything on an intraday time frame which is your four hour time frame from the daily time frame perspective things are also looking a bit more positive as well but the price is struggling to move to the upside today and I'm, I'm i'm just slightly afraid that we could be actually forming a lower high because we have a high and we could be forming a lower high so if price cannot break the highs of today then the chances are that we may be forming or especially the high of this particular candle that the all is shall we say that sixty thousand price level then we are in in uh you know in danger of forming a lower high and that means that price can really reverse its direction towards this one so overall we really want the price for this bull momentum to continue to break above the sixty thousand. but more importantly we want the price to to stay above the 50 day simple moving average all right that's all for now and i'll see you guys next time